In mathematics, a linear map, also called a linear mapping, linear transformation or in some contexts, linear function is a mapping VW between two modules including vector spaces that preserves in the sense defined below the operations of addition and scalar multiplication. An important special case is when V equals W, in which case the map is called a linear operator, or an endomorphism of V. Sometimes the term linear function has the same meaning as linear map, while in analytic geometry it does not. A linear map always maps linear subspaces onto linear subspaces, possibly of a lower dimension, for instance it maps a plane through the origin to a plane, straight line or point. Linear maps can often be represented as matrices, and simple examples include rotation and reflection linear transformations. In the language of abstract algebra, a linear map is a module homomorphism. In the language of category theory it is a morphism in the category of modules over a given ring. Topic. Definition and first consequences Let V text style V and W text style W B vector spaces over the same field K text style math B F K a function F V W text style f v to w is said to be a linear map if for any two vectors u v element of v text style math b f u math b f v in v and any scalar c element of K text style C in Math BF K. The following two conditions are satisfied. Thus, a linear map is said to be operation preserving. In other words, it does not matter whether the linear map is applied before or after the operations of addition and scalar multiplication. This is equivalent to requiring the same for any linear combination of vectors, i.e. that for any vectors u 1 u n element of v text style math bf u underscore one l dots math bf u underscore n in v and scalars c one c n element of k Text style C underscore one L dots C underscore N in Math BF K. The following equality holds F C one U one plus plus C N U N equals C one F U one plus plus C N F U N 
Display style F left C underscore one Math BF U underscore one plus C D O T S plus C underscore N Math BF U underscore N right equals C underscore one F left Math BF U underscore one right plus C D O T S plus C underscore N F left Math BF U underscore N right Denoting the zero elements of the vector spaces V Text style V and W Text style W by zero V Text style Math BF zero underscore V and zero W Text style Math BF zero underscore W Respectively, it follows that F zero V equals Zero W Text style F left Math BF zero underscore V right equals Math BF zero underscore W Let C equals zero Text style C equals zero and v element of v text style math bf v in v in the equation for homogeneity of degree 1 f 0 v equals f 0 v equals 0 f v equals 0 w Display style F left Math BF zero underscore V right equals F left zero Math BF V right equals zero F Math BF V equals Math BF zero underscore W Occasionally V text style V and W text style W can be considered to be vector spaces over different fields. It is then necessary to specify which of these ground fields is being used in the definition of linear. If V text style V and W text style w are considered as spaces over the field k text style math bf k as above we talk about k text style math bf k linear maps for example the conjugation of complex numbers as an R text style math BF R linear map C C text style math BF C two math BF C but it is not C text style math BF C linear a linear map V K text style V two Math BF K with 
K text style math BF K viewed as a vector space over itself is called a linear functional these statements generalize to any left module R M text style underscore R M over a ring R text style R without modification and to any right module upon reversing of the scalar multiplication topic examples the zero map x0 between two left modules or two right modules over the same ring is always linear the identity map on any module is a linear operator. Any homothesy centered in the origin of a vector space V C V text style V mapsto C V where C is a scalar is a linear operator. This does not hold in general for modules, where such a map might only be semilinear. For real numbers, the map xx2 is not linear. For real numbers, the map xx plus 1 is not linear, but is an affine transformation. y equals x plus 1 is a linear equation, as the term is used in analytic geometry. If A is a real M times N matrix, then A defines a linear map from Rn to Rm by sending the column vector x element of Rn to the column vector x element of Rm. Conversely, any linear map between finite dimensional vector spaces can be represented in this manner. See the following section. Differentiation defines a linear map from the space of all differentiable functions to the space of all functions. It also defines a linear operator on the space of all smooth functions. The definite integral over some interval i is a linear map from the space of all real-valued integrable functions on i to r. The indefinite integral or antiderivative with a fixed starting point defines a linear map from the space of all real-valued integrable functions on R to the space of all real-valued, differentiable, functions on R without a fixed starting point. An exercise in group theory will show that the antiderivative maps to the quotient space of the differentiables over the equivalence relation differ by a constant which yields an identity class of the constant valued functions i d text style left int i re 2 d re re right if V and W are finite dimensional vector spaces over a field F, then functions that send linear maps F, V, W to D I M F, W, times D I M F, V matrices in the way described in the sequel are themselves linear maps, indeed linear isomorphisms. The expected value of a random variable, which is in fact a function, and as such a member of a vector space, is linear. As for random variables x and y, we have e x plus y. Topic e x plus e y and e x. A x, but the variance of a random variable is not linear. Topic matrices. 
If V and W are finite dimensional vector spaces and a basis is defined for each vector space, then every linear map from V to W can be represented by a matrix. This is useful because it allows concrete calculations. Matrices yield examples of linear maps. If A is a real M times N matrix, then F X equals X describes a linear map R N erm C Euclidean space. Let v1, vn, be a basis for v then every vector v in v is uniquely determined by the coefficients c1, cn in the field r c 1 v 1 plus plus c n v N display style C underscore one math BF V underscore one plus C D O T S plus C underscore N math BF V underscore N F F V W as a linear map F C one V one plus plus C N V N equals C one F V one plus plus C N F V N Display style F left C underscore one Math BF V underscore one plus C D O T S plus C underscore N Math BF V underscore N right equals C underscore one F left Math BF V underscore one right plus C D O T S plus C underscore N F left Math BF V underscore N right which implies that the function f is entirely determined by the vectors f v1, f v n. Now let w1, wm be a basis for w. Then we can represent each vector f v j as f v j equals a 1 j w1 plus plus a m j w m. Display style f left math b f v underscore j right equals a underscore one j math b f w underscore one plus c d o t s plus a underscore m j math b f w underscore m. Thus, the function f is entirely determined by the values of a i j. If we put these values into an m times n matrix m, then we can conveniently use it to compute the vector output of f for any vector in V to get m. Every column j of m is a vector, a 1 j a m j t display style begin p matrix a underscore 1 j and c d o t s and a underscore m j end P matrix caret text S F T corresponding to F V J as defined above. To define it more clearly, for some column J that corresponds to the mapping F V J M equals a one J A M J display style math B F M equals begin P matrix C D O T S and a underscore one J and C D O T S and V D O T S and and a underscore M J and end P matrix where M is the matrix of F. 
In other words, every column j equals 1, n has a corresponding vector f v j, whose coordinates a 1 j, a m j are the elements of column j. A single linear map may be represented by many matrices. This is because the values of the elements of a matrix depend on the bases chosen. The matrices of a linear transformation can be represented visually. Matrix for T text style T relative to B text style B A text style A matrix for T text style t relative to b text style b a text style a transition matrix from b text style b to b text style b p text style p transition matrix from b text style b to b text style b p minus 1 text style p caret minus 1 such that starting in the bottom left corner v b text style left vec v right underscore b and looking for the bottom right corner t v b Text style left T left VEC V right right underscore B one would left multiply that as A V B equals T V B Text style A left VEC V right underscore B equals left T left VEC V right right underscore B. The equivalent method would be the longer method going clockwise from the same point such that V B Text style left VEC V right underscore B is left multiplied with P minus one A P text style P carrot minus one A P or P minus one A P V B equals T V B text style P carrot minus one A P left V E C V right underscore B equals left T left V E C V right right underscore B topic examples of linear transformation matrices In two-dimensional space R2 linear maps are described by two times two real matrices. These are some examples, rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise, a equals 0 minus 110, display style math bf, a equals, begin, p, 
P matrix 0 and minus 1 1 and 0 end P matrix by an angle theta counterclockwise a equals cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta display style math BF out equals begin P matrix cos theta and sin theta sin theta and cos theta end P matrix reflection about the x axis a equals one o o minus one display style math bf o equals begin P matrix one and zero zero and minus one end P matrix about the y axis a equals minus one o o one display style math bf o equals begin P matrix minus one and zero zero and one end P matrix scaling by two in all directions a equals two o o two equals two i display style math bf o equals begin p matrix 2 and 0 0 and 2 end p matrix equals 2 math bf i horizontal shear mapping a equals 1 meter 01 display style math bf o equals begin p matrix 1 and m 0 and 1 end P matrix squeeze mapping a equals k o o one k display style math b f o equals begin p matrix k and zero zero and frac one k end p matrix projection onto the y axis a equals o o o one Display style math BF O equals begin P matrix zero and zero zero and one end P matrix. Topic Forming new linear maps from given ones. The composition of linear maps is linear, if f, v, w and g, w, z are linear, then so is their composition g, f, v, z. It follows from this that the class of all vector spaces over a given field k, together with k linear maps as morphisms, forms a category. The inverse of a linear map, when defined, is again a linear map. If f1, vw and f2, vw are linear, then so is their pointwise sum f1 plus f2 which is defined by f1 plus f2 x equals f1 x plus f2 x. If f, vw is linear and a is an element of the ground field k, then the map a f, defined by a f x equals a f x, is also linear. Thus the set L v, w, of linear maps from V to W itself forms a vector space over k, sometimes denoted home, v, w. Furthermore, in the case that V equals W, this vector space denoted end, v, is an associative algebra under composition of maps, since the composition of two linear maps is again a linear map, and the composition of maps is always associative. This case is discussed in more detail below. Given again the finite dimensional case, if bases have been chosen, then the composition of linear maps corresponds to the matrix multiplication, the addition of linear maps corresponds to the matrix addition, and the multiplication of linear maps with scalars corresponds to the multiplication of matrices with scalars. Topic. Endomorphisms and automorphisms A linear transformation F, V, V is an endomorphism of V, the set of all such endomorphisms end, V, together with addition, 
composition and scalar multiplication as defined above forms an associative algebra with identity element over the field K and in particular a ring. The multiplicative identity element of this algebra is the identity map id, vv, an endomorphism of V that is also an isomorphism is called an automorphism of V. The composition of two automorphisms is again an automorphism, and the set of all automorphisms of V forms a group, the automorphism group of V which is denoted by AUT v or GL v. Since the automorphisms are precisely those endomorphisms which possess inverses under composition, A U T V is the group of units in the ring end V. If V has finite dimension n, then end V is isomorphic to the associative algebra of all n times n matrices with entries in K. The automorphism group of V is isomorphic to the general linear grouped G L n K of all n times n invertible matrices with entries in K. Topic kernel, image and the rank nullity theorem If f, v w is linear, we define the kernel and the image or range of f by ker, f equals, x element of v, f, x equals 0, im, f equals, w element of w, w equals f, x, x element of v, display style, begin, aligned, operator name, ker, f, and equals, equals x in v f x equals zero operator name im f and equals w in w w equals f x x in v end aligned cur f is a subspace of v and im f is a subspace of w the following dimension formula is known as the rank nullity theorem dim cur f plus dim im f equals equals dim v display style dim cur f plus dim operator name im f equals dim v the number dim im f is also called the rank of f and written as rank f or sometimes rho f the number dim cur f is called the nullity of f and written as null f or nu f if V and W are finite dimensional, bases have been chosen and F is represented by the matrix A, then the rank and nullity of F are equal to the rank and nullity of the matrix A, respectively. Topic: Co-kernel A subtler invariant of a linear transformation F V W text style F V to W is the co-kernel, which is defined as coker F equals W F V equals W I'm F display style operator name coker F equals with F V equals with operator name I'm F. This is the dual notion to the kernel, just as the kernel is a subspace of the domain, the co-kernel is a quotient space of the target. Formally, one has the exact sequence. 0 cur f v w coker f 0 display style 0 to cur f to v to w to operator name coker f to 0 these can be interpreted thus, given a linear equation f, v, equals w to solve 
the kernel is the space of solutions to the homogeneous equation f v equals zero, and its dimension is the number of degrees of freedom in a solution, if it exists. The co-kernel is the space of constraints that must be satisfied if the equation is to have a solution, and its dimension is the number of constraints that must be satisfied for the equation to have a solution. The dimension of the co-kernel and the dimension of the image the rank, add up to the dimension of the target space. For finite dimensions, this means that the dimension of the quotient space with f v is the dimension of the target space minus the dimension of the image. As a simple example, consider the map f r two r two given by f x y topic zero y. Then for an equation f x y a b to have a solution, we must have a equals zero one constraint, and in that case the solution space is x b or equivalently stated zero b plus x zero one degree of freedom. The kernel may be expressed as the subspace x zero a b out text style a b mapsto out given a vector a b the value of a is the obstruction to there being a solution. An example illustrating the infinite dimensional case is afforded by the map f r infinity r infinity a n b n text style left out underscore n right mapsto left b underscore n right with b1 topic 0 and bn plus 1 and for n greater than 0 its image consists of all sequences with first element 0, and thus its cokernel consists of the classes of sequences with identical first element. Thus, whereas its kernel has dimension 0, it maps only the 0 sequence to the 0 sequence, its cokernel has dimension 1. Since the domain and the target space are the same, the rank and the dimension of the kernel add up to the same sum as the rank and the dimension of the co-kernel 0 plus 0 equals 0 plus 1 Text style Aleph underscore zero plus O equals Aleph underscore zero plus one. But in the infinite dimensional case, it cannot be inferred that the kernel and the co kernel of an endomorphism have the same dimension, zero does not equal one. The reverse situation obtains for the map H, R infinity, R infinity A n c n text style left out underscore n right mapsto left c underscore n right with c n equals n plus 1 its image is the entire target space, and hence its co-kernel has dimension 0, but since it maps all sequences in which only the first element is non-zero to the zero sequence, its kernel has dimension 1. Equals Topic. Index Equals for a linear operator with finite dimensional kernel and co-kernel, one may define index as ind f equals dim cur f minus dim k 
Coker F Display style operator name ind f equals dim cur f dim operator name coker f, namely the degrees of freedom minus the number of constraints. For a transformation between finite dimensional vector spaces, this is just the difference dim v minus dim w by rank nullity. This gives an indication of how many solutions or how many constraints one has. If mapping from a larger space to a smaller one, the map may be onto, and thus will have degrees of freedom even without constraints. Conversely, if mapping from a smaller space to a larger one, the map cannot be onto, and thus one will have constraints even without degrees of freedom. The index of an operator is precisely the Euler characteristic of the two-term complex 0 v w 0. In operator theory, the index of Fredholm operators is an object of study, with a major result being the Atia singer index theorem. Topic. Algebraic classifications of linear transformations No classification of linear maps could hope to be exhaustive. The following incomplete list enumerates some important classifications that do not require any additional structure on the vector space. Let V and W denote vector spaces over a field, F let T, V W be a linear map. T is said to be injective or a monomorphism if any of the following equivalent conditions are true. T is one-to-one -one as a map of sets. Kurt equals zero volts. Dim Kurt equals zero. T is monic or left cancelable, which is to say, for any vector space U and any pair of linear maps R, U V and S, U V, the equation T R. Topic T S implies R. S T is left invertible, which is to say there exists a linear map S, W V such that street is the identity map on V. T is said to be surjective or an epimorphism if any of the following equivalent conditions are true. T is onto as a map of sets. Coker T equals 0 W. T is epic or right cancelable, which is to say, for any vector space U and any pair of linear maps R, W U and S, W U, the equation R T. Topic. Saint implies R. S T is right invertible, which is to say there exists a linear map S, W V such that T S is the identity map on W. T is said to be an isomorphism if it is both left and right invertible. This is equivalent to T being both one to one and onto a bijection of sets, or also to T being both epic and monic, and so being a bimorphism. If T, V V is an endomorphism, then if, for some positive integer n, the nth iterate of T, T n, is identically zero, then T is said to be nullpotent. If T2 equals T, then T is said to be idempotent. If T equals key, where k is some scalar, then t is said to be a scaling transformation or scalar multiplication map, see scalar matrix. Equals 
Topic: Change of basis. Equals. Given a linear map which is an endomorphism whose matrix is A, in the basis B of the space it transforms vector coordinates U as V topic A U. As vectors change with the inverse of B, vectors are contravariant, its inverse transformation is V. B V substituting this in the first expression B V equals A B U display style B left V right equals A B left U right hence V equals B minus one A B U equals A U Display style left V right equals B carrot minus one A B left U right equals A left U right. Therefore, the matrix in the new basis is A equals B minus one A B, being B the matrix of the given basis. Therefore, linear maps are said to be one co one contravariant objects, or type one one tensors. Topic Continuity A linear transformation between topological vector spaces, for example normed spaces, may be continuous. If its domain and codomain are the same, it will then be a continuous linear operator. A linear operator on a normed linear space is continuous if and only if it is bounded, for example, when the domain is finite dimensional. An infinite dimensional domain may have discontinuous linear operators. An example of an unbounded, hence discontinuous, linear transformation is differentiation on the space of smooth functions equipped with the supremum norm a function with small values can have a derivative with large values, while the derivative of zero is zero. For a specific example, sin n x n converges to zero, but its derivative cos n x does not, so differentiation is not continuous at zero, and by a variation of this argument, it is not continuous anywhere. Topic: <laughs> Applications. A specific application of linear maps is for geometric transformations, such as those performed in computer graphics, where the translation, rotation and scaling of 2D or 3D objects is performed by the use of a transformation matrix. Linear mappings also are used as a mechanism for describing change, for example in calculus correspond to derivatives, or in relativity, used as a device to keep track of the local transformations of reference frames. Another application of these transformations is in compiler optimizations of nested loop code, and in parallelizing compiler techniques. Topic. See also Affine transformation Linear equation Bounded operator Antilinear map Semilinear map Continuous linear operator 
event function equals equals notes <laughs>